Hey everyone, welcome to Source It Up. Here's another sales haul, uh, sales update video. So uh, last week we did 4,800 um, from the 25th to the 3rd. It's a, you know, it's a lot lower than what I wanted. It's good, but it's a lot lower than what I wanted. We, uh, our VA, we had five or 600 listings that were supposed to go up. Almost none of them did. She was out of internet for almost the entire week. So we, this is really just, uh, we did have $1,000 a day, but this was really just uh, residual stuff selling from the week before that we listed. And, you know, other, other listings we had, we have, we had over 3,000 listings and I do have a video coming out. We are separating our store into different, um, different stores. So instead of having one anchor store, we're changing it into a bunch of premium stores and going to focus on one category at a time and scaling that up. So I will have a video out soon about that, but let's jump into the sales that were made. So here's the 24th. We're going to start with the 25th. So these uh, Wii steering wheels are, make sure they're official. Some of the off-brand ones sell. You got to look them up. But if you lot them up, especially like four of them, you can at least get 4 or $5 a piece for these. Um, with shipping so the po uh, blank Polaroid uh, film that's either empty or has used a uh, film in it this these films I don't know if these were used or not but the batteries don't work anyway these are junk cartridges um, they they sell if you have if you get Polaroid cameras and they have bad cartridges save the cartridges lock them up and sell them uh, seal Pokemon cards some vinyls so a lot of the vinyls that don't sell well individually, we lot up and sell them in lots. Uh, Lincoln Logs is great. I really like Lincoln Logs. This one in particular was complete. Uh, on the outside of the boxes, they have what pieces are included. So even though the instructions weren't included, which we could have printed out, um, we counted this. It was complete. And so we sold it. I think we got this for maybe two, three, four ninety nine, something like that. This I got a long time ago in one of those little bags. Um, I had a bunch of these. Uh, I got probably f six or seven of them um, for maybe three ninety nine or something like that. And so, and they were all sold for about seven to ten dollars each. I don't sell mugs very often. I did pick this one up. It looked interesting. It was a dollar ninety nine. That sold fairly quickly. This is from a storage unit. Uh, came with a lot of Disney stuff. Here is one of them that sold. Um, this should have sold for more. I forgot where I got this. I think I actually bought that brand new for ten bucks, and we just got rid of it quickly. Oh, it's fireworks! People setting off crackers outside. <laughs> um, this is. Uh, so some of these, actually, you see this little tag here? If these are in mint condition, even if they're not, this tag inside of here is a barcode. You can scan them. A lot of these come up on Amazon, and some of them we've sold for 30 and $40, and some are pretty rare, and they still sell. But the thing is, if you're going to send it to Amazon, you either got to mark it as used if it's a little scuffed up. If you're going to sell it as new, it has to be in mint condition. Excellent. Uh, this is a collector's item. Uh, it's not just a toy. I mean, it's a toy, but it's a collector's item, so you got to make sure the condition is new. It can't be scuffed up or anything, otherwise you can't list it as new. So just keep that in mind when you are selling these things, and if you do sell it on eBay, just take your pictures and describe it well. Um, cool hoodie we got. Uh, we found these, a uh, bunch of these posters. Um, I remember a long time ago I was telling you guys that did... Uh, Evan, you gotta hold on, okay? You gotta hold on. Can you hold on? I wonder what is really cold. Okay, okay. Daddy, heat it up in a little bit, okay? But Daddy, I, heat it up in a little bit. Heat it up. Okay, hold but on. When you sleep, when you heat it up, okay. when you sleep, it gets into. You wanna say hi? Come here. Say hi. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> say hi. <laughs> hi. Say bye. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Give Daddy a few minutes, okay? Daddy's coming soon. Not now. Daddy's coming soon. God bless you. Okay. So, 
we have some games here again. If PlayStation games don't sell individually, uh, put them in lots. Um, I'm trying to do so these 13 games. Let's say we were able to list them for three dollars each with with uh, with shipping or 5.99 with free shipping, and we had a way to do that fast. That actually might be worth it because now you're listing 60 to 70 dollars worth of product rather than getting 12 dollars for it. So yes, it's it sells slower. Um, a couple might sell faster, um, and um, it takes a little longer to ship. So you got to keep all that in mind when you're doing that. Harley Davidson is always good. Um, this was a mask we got from uh, storage unit. Uh, even th this is just a fleece mask. Nothing special, but the brand was good. Sold for sixteen dollars used. Pretty crazy. Um, here's another one of those books. Uh, we did the three dollar thing with three dollar shipping. It seems to be working okay. Uh, they are selling. Uh, CDs that don't scan in or show up on Amazon. Uh, some of them do sell on eBay pretty good. Uh, this was just, uh, I thought this might be worth more, but it wasn't. I forgot where I got this. Um, here is a knife we got out of, again, this didn't scan into Amazon, so we listed it here. It was from the storage unit. I bought this a very long time ago. And probably could have got more money for it, but um, I list I got it a long time ago because we were cleaning our vinyls. But it is way too time consuming. There is a machine, I think it's called the Ultrasonic something something, Ultrasonic Pro or something like that. And there's a couple stores that sell vinyls on at, on eBay that say cleaned with Ultrasonic cleaned or something like that. And they're selling the same vinyls for two and three times the amount of money, and they're selling because it's cleaned with this five thousand dollar machine. So apparently, this machine cleans it so well, and it's so crisp that collectors love um, because you can't like hand wash or clean it that way. So uh, for, it's something to do with dust and static free. I have no idea, but whatever it does, uh, it apparently increases the value. So if you're into vinyls and you can afford a $5,000 machine, it's kind of like having a disc resurfacer that looks that makes CDs look like they weren't resurfaced. Now, to have a machine like that, it costs a lot of money, at least $1,000, if not more than that, to get one where the disc literally looks mint when it comes out. But it costs money to upkeep and then an upfront cost for the machine. Is it worth it? Right. So you got to figure all that out. But uh, I always have that in the back of my mind. Uh, we sell a lot of vinyls on Discogs. We have about five or 600 vinyls listed currently, maybe a little less than that. But something like that, we're selling maybe one, two, or three a day on average. And it's working out decent. Um, but again, it's just one of an, uh, another experiment we wanted to do. But eventually, I'd love to be able to afford one of those uh, machines and uh, really get more value for uh, probably wouldn't take long to recoup the money if you're selling high volume. This is out of a storage unit. This is a tiny little box um, with a little mechanical robot in there. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, this is one of the, the large lot of Pokemon plush we bought. We're piecing them out and uh, they're selling pretty well. These were from the dollar store actually. Uh, for so, uh, I thought we could, I think, did I get the wrong quantity? Yeah, I bought it and it was the wrong quantity that I got. Uh, to list on Amazon, so I just threw them up on eBay. Took a little while to sell, but they finally sold, so I turned six bucks into 1994 with the free shipping. But this is definitely first class, so you're looking at about a ten dollar profit. So uh, and after fees, maybe eight, nine dollars. So um, so that was pretty good. Um, you know, dollar store is good. I found some really great stuff at the dollar store. You just gotta be careful. Uh, sometimes um or you got to be able to recognize what the dollar store is private labeling so the, if you walk into the dollar store if you walk into cvs and walgreens and walmart they have their private label products all over the place and you got to know um like what is it i know like costco it's kirkland costco is kirkland is a costco brand right so but sometimes uh kirkland in particular is a higher quality private label brand that Costco has and some of that stuff does resell 
on uh, on Amazon. I mean, I go into Kirkland and I do retail arbitrage right there, especially during their sales and stuff. They have some stuff if you're approved in groceries. Um, even if not, there's other things. Uh, the stuff you could sell on eBay. There's stuff there. I found really great stuff at um, where do we go? BJ's. Uh, I found some great books we bought for. I think twelve ninety nine each, and we're selling for thirty five. I bought like twenty of them. Um, that was great. I could have went and bought back and went and got more, but I, I just I can't keep up with it all. So um, okay, uh, boombox here. Some of them, you got to look at the condition, and then everything has to work, right? Because this is a, if the the CD player has to work, the cassette player has to work. It has to really come with the power cable if you want it to sell well. If there's a remote with it, that'll even add, bring more value. Um, the button's got to work. The antenna can't be broken. So there's a lot of things with these boom boxes that can go wrong. And so if you know everything to kind of spot check quick, if you plug it in in the store, open this up and hit play, you can see the wheel turn. That's a great sign. Um, even if you grab a CD and test it, Make sure it turns on. Make, it plays music. Like this is something you can fully test pretty quickly inside of the thrift store if they have a plug. So I do recommend doing that, um, especially if this. Let's say this was nine ninety nine. I wouldn't want to pay that uh, without really testing it, um, or at least plugging it in and seeing if this wheel turns, because that's a good sign. That's usually the the thing that goes is the cassette player or the antenna is going to be broke. But I wouldn't get this if it's in rough shape. Like this was in almost mint, like in excellent condition. Um, so I was pretty confident and I tested it out as well. So we do sell controllers separately. Um, this we could have sold on Amazon for more, but this, you see this cable here is all twisted up. And even if the, the cable is all twisted up, it works, but we were still able to sell it. Um, I'm getting into clothing. We're working on our, uh, I know this is like a horrible picture. Um, we're working on our pictures. I think, uh, uh, side hustle pros and at ra uh, rally roots, uh, I got it from Rally Roots, but they say they modified something they saw from Side Hustle Pros, which I'm sure they got it from somebody else. I don't even know. So uh, thank you, everyone, who whoever came up with this originally. But the, uh, the double hanger with the cardboard and, and uh, to do kind of a, a really cool hanging flat lay kind of a, a look. And so we're doing that. We're going to do that moving forward. It's just uh, uh, we don't have the proper setup right now to do anything other than that. But uh, we were just throwing it down and folding the sleeves over and it wasn't even – and we had like – this is the size of our table side. We just had a regular fold-out table. Anyway, not to get too much into that. But even if the pictures are bad or not so clear – and this isn't the worst. I've seen worse but um, could be a lot better. And still, if you're right, buying the right brands, if you're pricing it at the right price, if you're, if you're making the right title with the right keywords, this stuff will sell. Um – Okay, let's see here. Some of these cards sell well, so let's uh, go to the next page. Let me just check the date here. So we're going to March 3rd. Okay, so uh, here's another $5, $3 shipping one, selling some cards. So these uh, combo players, the DVD and VHS, one thing I will say is um, the ones that say DVD-R, uh, record DVD and record VHS. A lot of them say recorder, like VHS recorder, DVD player. If it says VHS recorder, DVD recorder, uh, especially if it's Sony, it's like double the price, sometimes more. Um, if you get it sealed in the box, you can get like 500 for these. So keep an eye out for them. Um, they're very expensive. Uh, again, I've sold many, many of them for over $100, the ones that were DVD recorder in excellent shape with the controller. And even if you do have the controller, there's the possibility you can always sell it on Amazon for even more. So keep on a lookout for these. One thing you got to note, uh, make sure it's cosmetically in good condition. These are hard to test in the store, so you don't want to be pay sp spending. Um, for something like this, I wouldn't spend more than 6 or seven ninety nine without testing it. Um, if it was like four ninety nine or three ninety nine, I'm just and it looks in decent shape. I'm just going to pick it up regardless. Um, uh, a lot of times you can sell these for parts, even though it's it's kind of annoying. We did we we have sold it. I I'll just pick up the DVD R ones, even if it's in not the best shape. Uh, well, it really depends if it's really beat up. But if it's just a little scuffed up, looks like some normal wear, um, I'll pick it up and. Even then, you could still sell for if they're selling for 150 to 200 dollars. You could still sell it for 
um, $20, $30, $40 for parts. So this was incomplete. We're able to sell that as well. So you can sell things incomplete. You just got to, you know, check it out. These things sell for nothing individually, and they were sitting for a while. We did get them for pennies each, um, but they sold in a lot. This is pretty cool. If you guys checked out my Instagram, uh, we got all these and more for uh, $8. So Funko Pop, but the thing is most Funko Pop figures are not worth this money. There's rare ones in there. I did not know these were rare when I got them, but for four nine for eight dollars, I think it was two bags, three ninety nine each. Um, for that kind of money, uh, I'm not gonna, you know, it was it was a even even if uh, even if these weren't worth this much if they were regular price, I still could have made money off of them because if you're spending three ninety nine for five or six of them that sell for ten dollars each. You could still sell them for, let's say, this whole lot. If these were just regular ones, you could probably still sell them all for like 20 bucks to 30 bucks. So it was kind of a risk reward thing, but uh, Funko Pop stuff sells pretty fast. Um, a lot of little things here. This, maybe we could have got more for this. This is actually a really cool, unique uh, Ralph Lauren shirt. Again, uh, didn't know how to really explain it. It, had, it was like a chain belt design. Definitely probably could have got more. Maybe I should have listed higher. But we only I got it for a few dollars, so. Uh, DVD set sell. So these um, were tested, but the charges for these are like, are like 10 to $15. And if, if we did that and sold it on Amazon, we maybe could have just got a few more dollars out of it. So we just decided to sell them here. I think the same person bought both of these. Uh, we do do buy one, get one 15% off, so. Um, we do save money on shipping, which is good, but, uh, we did, uh, not, we don't lose money. We get a lot of multiple orders and at the end of the day, it adds to cash flow and helps, uh, sell more items. Um, so, uh, yeah, these, these phone sets still sell some sell for a lot. Could have sold these AC adapters separately. Could have sold the phones and maybe a pair of this separately with the AC adapter. You could do all sorts of crazy stuff with this, especially the ones that are more expensive, more recent. Uh, books that don't sell at all individually. You can lot up by author, by, by genre. Nerf guns do sell, but you got to look them up. Some don't. This guy was interesting. I actually random. This came. I was uh, looking at a different figure in the same bag. He ended up not being worth something, but this thing ended up being worth twenty three dollars and sold very fast. And it's from two thousand thirteen. It ain't. It isn't even old. And we spelt Imaginex wrong. Oh, look at that. It's supposed to be Imaginext with a T at the end. Um. Some cards. Some pins. You know, a lot of little tchotchkes that we picked up. Some of this is from storage auctions. I think we did get this from Savers, maybe. Um, but from two ninety nine to seventeen bucks is not bad. These came from a storage locker, and see how they're all curled up. These aren't in the best shape. And the buy one get one fifteen percent off. Someone bought all three of these. Uh, this was from. Evan, can you wait one more minute? I like blue ice cream. You like blue ice cream? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Where was I? So these were from uh, boxes of, uh, you know, some of the larger Pokemon card boxes come with the big cards. These are the jumbo ones. And I opened so many from GameStop that when they had the 50% off, 50, uh, the clear 50 off clearance. So I was getting these Pokemon boxes for like five bucks each. They all came with these. I didn't want to sell them individually. Just put them in a big lot. Uh, that sold pretty quickly. A couple of CD lots, DVD lots. Uh, this is one of the... I've sold makeup and, and uh, beauty items before, but uh, this was pretty cool. I really um, got me very interested in kind of makeup type items. So uh, hopefully I pronounced this right. A stay louder. Um, louder. Um, this, this actually looked really nice, and it was all like... Gold, I, I think I looked it up in the store. This came with a couple other things for three or four ninety nine, 
and uh, this is one that sold, but it came some lipstick, and these were they were new, they were new, so the unused, and uh, and with makeup, this stuff doesn't come. Some stuff comes sealed, but a lot of it you can open it right up in the store, and if it's unused, then it's new, right? So this would this thing was like mint and unused, so you can list it as new because it, it's it, it came right off the shelf. So anyway, um, yeah. I really like this flip. So I think we made about a hundred bucks from that four ninety nine bag. Um, this is the first thing that sold out of it. We listed it all last week. Um, La Crusade is a great brand. This, however, had more wear than I thought. Um, and so we had to tank the price. Did still sell pretty quick. And we still made, you know, du we double our money on that. Um, these discs, all of these are scratched and untested. And uh, we were able to sell them. You know, if you have even scratched um, DVDs or CDs or, or loose discs, you know, look up, type in uh, loose CD lot, even vinyl records. People use them for craft, for art, for crafts, for art. They sell. This stuff sells. So it's pretty crazy. So the Gustin stuff sold. Again, the buy one, get one 15% off. Someone bought both of these. Uh, this one was missing a button. Probably should have. Could have maybe got a little more for this, but uh, but these sold very quick. Um, pair of skis sold. These are more that we got from that same um, eight dollars. So another two. Uh, this one we got in a little uh, bag. Uh, Sonic stuff usually does pretty good. Some do, some don't. Um, this was broken. It doesn't read discs, but it turns on, and we were able to sell it. Uh, this was this is a tiny. This is pretty small. It's not that. I mean, it's maybe like maybe three inches or two inches, two and a half inches. Fifteen bucks. This this thing is broken right here, but it works. Um, so, but it was still able to sell. It sells for a lot more if it's uh, maybe not a lot more, maybe like twenty five, thirty bucks if that was together. But it works. Um, another Nerf gun here. So the Simpsons DVD. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know we're missing a couple seasons, but if you lot this up, it sells pretty well. I uh, did some auctions here for one day. Um, stuff I had sitting around for a while. Like these, if I put these all for two ninety nine each, they would actually take a while to sell, and that's only three. Uh, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five. So that would be fifteen dollars. So th sometimes auctions do better. That this was sitting at fourteen ninety nine with free shipping for a long time, like like months, All right? Maybe two or three months. And it had a couple watches, but no one bought it. Put it up on auction. Seven days later, I got almost all of that. This I got more than what I've gotten selling it separately. So this actually could have got more if I sold it. So some things, sometimes Pokemon cards do better, and sometimes they don't. So you got to be careful. This I could have got more. This I could have got more. This I couldn't have got more. Excuse me. Sorry. Uh, when I do videos on night and talk a lot, I tend to yawn. So uh, you got to look at your books, um, especially if you're getting a, in bulk. Um, just quickly flip open the front cover and a couple pages see if it's signed we just check them all because they uh, we've sold signed books for fifty hundred dollars at times um, doesn't hurt to look this I could have got more this I maybe could have got more anyway so it eat and at the end it kind of evens out and it adds to cash flow and I couldn't have gotten that much more and I would have had to wait for it so sometimes it's just better. And for the what I got it for, still this is profit. So um, so yeah, you got you to gotta balance it out. And uh, I'm sorry, you know what I keep meaning to do? I keep meaning to uh, pop this over so that uh, my video doesn't get in the way here. If I can even. What the heck? Yeah, there we go. Um, I 
anyway. Okay, so uh, some more cards. Okay, uh, we sell AC adapters all day, um, 10 to 15 bucks each. Uh, this we paired up the NE official NES and the AV because we get the third party ones for just two or three dollars each. So why not save the original ones, sell them separately, and then buy the third party ones and, and use that? Um, a lot of times that works pretty well. So uh, it's risky when you do it into Amazon, but, uh, and I wouldn't do that if you're shipping it, but if you're selling it on eBay, that's actually a good way to do it because people don't really add that extra value. So you can get an extra $10 by just buying AC adapters for NES in bulk and then selling the official ones separately. So that's a cool way of doing it. Um, with these Pokemon games, you gotta make sure that uh, it saves because a lot of these save batteries because these are so old, this, the batteries go bad, that's it, that actually saved the game. So this one sold and it's C notes, I guarantee you it doesn't save, it needs to be saved. Sometimes we throw it in a title. Um, selling wires, selling calculators, books, this came from an online arbitrage auction bulk thing. So pretty quick, I think the same person bought both of these. Uh, some more of these uh, official wheels sold. A shirt that I probably shouldn't have bought. They did have a 99 cent day at Savers a while ago. I think that's when I picked this up. Uh, another AC adapter sold for $20. Um, so with the AC adapters, you just type in, there's always a number on here, a model number. There's all sorts of numbers, right? On there is a specific model number just for that. If you type in the brand and that model number and AC adapter and search for it, most likely you'll be able to find a comp. A vinyl here, another shirt, another vinyl. So like in some of these vinyl sales, doing very well. Um, Mindflex, just the headset, sells for 15 to $20. So uh, if you get the MindFlex game and it's incomplete, I just usually toss the box and all the parts and sell the headset and still make profit. Let's say it's $2.99, you're still making a profit there. That's why some game parts do very well. And these sell pretty quick. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> Lacoste is good, but you got to get it for the right price. It sells quick. If you price it right, and, you, and again, you got to get it for, for the right price. Um, this item, it's funny. This was new. They got the item, and it doesn't work. So in that case, uh, you could have them contact the manufacturer. But at the end of the day, you are responsible for that, unless you made a actual wholesale purchase um, from a distributor. Uh, then I believe... You could get covered from the manufacturer or the wholesaler. Uh, I don't know much about that, but if you got this from a thrift store or from a pre-owned lot or from a garage sale, at the end of the day, I think uh, it's just best just to give them the refund. Um, that's what I did, and uh, there's nothing you can you can really do. So again you could have them reach out to the manufacturer and say it's not your problem but if they can play to eBay it's gonna you know un unfortunately it's gonna fall on you so even if it was sealed brand new so uh, some of these electronic chess sets uh, I always pick them up this is the least we've sold them for we've sold them up to $200 uh, brother laser printers do very well I don't really pick up any other printer other than brother laser printers they uh, they all have seemed to work almost all of them I think I think maybe out of the 20 or 30 we've gotten maybe one didn't work um, then usually the uh, they still have toner left so you can test them so that's it's a very uh, very good and safe purchase to make when you're dealing with printers Tinker Toys um, these are all empty so this is I buy a lot of collections of cards sometimes they come in all these different deck boxes and things like that and uh, and so uh, so I just sold all the, the extra parts, you know, the deck boxes and the carry case, and it did well. Because these people pay for this stuff, you know. Like when it's brand new, they pay a lot of money. So why not sell it used? Um, <clears throat> uh, this is a beta. 
So it's a smaller than a v VHS. These are pretty cool. Some uh, other media. We sold. Uh, don't buy vintage lead that black. I what did I? I think I got a very low offer. I just took it because this was sitting for a while. So uh, that you know, I'm still new to selling clothing. I'm getting a lot better with what to buy and what not. But I thought all denim jackets sold with patches. So I just picked it up without even looking it up, and that was a mistake. Um. Okay. Uh, yeah, this was part of uh, me relisting stuff on. So I delisted all these and listed it on our new account for cards. Let me just scroll to the bottom here. Um, so we're starting to sell some shoes, which is good. So we're we're going to again March, March third. Another beta. So if you see a VHS, that's like three quarters of the size of what a VHS should really look like. It's a beta and you gotta, uh, some of those are, they're more rare uh, and they sell for, some of them sell for some, some good money. So um, check those out. Uh, another plush here. This was, this also came with that Funko Pop lot, 50 bucks. I mean, that was a crazy, crazy good find. So, and the thing, the tip I have with thrift stores is you just gotta be consistent. You got to go, you got to know when they put stuff out, you got to know when other resellers are going and go at the opposite times and, you know, uh, and have your rounds and have your roots, you know, and then just the main thing is just consistency. You know, you might go to a thrift store for five days and may only find good stuff on two or three days and then may find a home run only one of those days, but you still got to go every day because there's no guarantee on when that stuff's going to show up, so... Uh, this is pretty cool. TurboGrafx-16. Anything TurboGrafx-16, I would say pick up. Uh, it sells well and it's worth a lot. But again, only if you get it at garage sale prices or thrift store prices even. So a lot of these sold. <clears throat> We're in March 3rd. I think, what happened? One person bought all this maybe? Maybe. Um, Austin Power figures. We're getting towards the end here. Yeah, a lot of cards sold. This was on my Instagram as well. I got this for four ninety nine at the thrift shop. This was sealed. This uh, this in particular selling for three hundred dollars on Amazon at a three hundred thousand ranked. So I could have maybe put it up for two hundred or two hundred and twenty two thirty. It would have sold. But the thing is, with with uh, collectible uh, discontinued toys that are sealed on Amazon, there is nothing preventing that person from opening it and shipping it back and returning it and there's nothing preventing it from returning it and then if you get this and it's opened the value plummets it's still worth something but not nearly as much and uh, I think it's just safer to sell it on eBay where there's less of a chance when you're actually taking a picture of the item there's less of a chance of getting scammed like that not scammed but also you're protected so um, these were also uh, something I got recently, these itty bitty. I spent $4.99 for maybe half of these, so I spent maybe 10 bucks for these and sold for $35, and, I, and there was quite a few lots that I put together. I don't recommend selling software. I, I'm, I think I'm going to just stop selling all software because software is something that there's so many, unless you really know how to look through Vero, the Vero, uh, all the brands, and, and really be... Uh, covering your tracks and looking into all that stuff you just got to be very careful a couple strikes and there's no stopping what eBay will do to uh, to your account they could suspend you from selling for a week they can just suspend your account all outright um, so you just got to be very careful uh, I've had so far I've had Vero strikes for selling HP uh, Hewlett Packard items internationally so now we don't sell Hewlett Packard internationally anymore it's only domestic which you can sell and we've had issues selling I think pre-owned Windows products so you gotta you gotta be careful like Windows 98 unless it's sealed I don't think you could sell it another item is Rosetta Stone don't even bother trying to sell that um, so so those are the couple strikes that I've gotten over the years and it's all software so uh, except for HP, and that was actually recent, so you just got to be careful with that stuff. Oh, more of these itty-bitty things are selling. Um, 
This was pretty cool. This we got for $4.99 from Savers, I believe. Popped it on an auction. This is from a storage locker. These magazines. Um, uh, some vinyls here. Uh, 50 vinyls, but the shipping should only be maybe 15 bucks for this. Um, and I get these sometimes on the pallets with the books. You know where I got that. Uh, this we got in an online auction. We had we got like 20 or 30 of these, and a lot of them are selling for five dollars each. Um, and we're oh, and we're ready on to March 4th. So this is part of next week. That I'll start right here, and we'll go over what sold. So and then now I got to go over multiple stores. So I'll give you guys an update on that. What's selling? What's not? What to buy? Where I got it? So if you guys have any questions, any feedback whatsoever, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you next time.